I know why you're here. It's about the braided locks, right? Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about that. It's been eight months since I've had them in. Eight months. And if you know me, I change my hairstyle like the days. I change my nail polish. I change certain things like... It's about beauty. It's about loving yourself. And it's about where you're at right now. So this is where I am right now. And I wanted to share the eight month journey with you here in this video. If you want to learn more about lifestyle, beauty, and even just self-help and self-awareness and self-love as a woman, check out some of my other videos. But this one is going to be my eight month micro lock journey date celebration. That's what this video is about. All right. So I colored them. I colored them yesterday. I did a dark brown. To be honest, the lint was bothering me a little bit. And plus, with summer, the sun, I wanted the sun to like sort of kiss it. But at the same time, these are extensions, right? So with the extensions, you might get that reddish hue. And my hair is more on the coolish brown tone. And majority of what you're seeing is extensions. So if I color it and do all those other things, I might as well play with it now so that when my hair grows out, I'll just leave it because that's how I want. I want to see my grays. I want to see my brown hues. I want to see all of that stuff. So my hair is growing out. But while I have the extensions in, I'm going to color it. So that's what I recently did. As you can see, I did not do a retie. I am not going to do one right now. I'm probably going to do a retie next week. So I do a retie once a month. So in this video, I'm going to let you know my pros and my cons, but I just wanted to let you know where I'm at right now in terms of color and all that stuff since it's the eighth month mark before I continue on, okay? So I'm not sure if you've done your hair with extensions. Using human hair extensions feels a little bit different, but it's not weighty. So if you use a synthetic, it's going to be heavy. If you use a human, it's light. So I just want to at least put that out there as I continue about the pros and the cons. Okay, so I'm first going to give you the cons, and then I'm going to give you the pros. Okay. So the cons, I don't have any, I think it was just the lint, a little bit of the lint, but I let that bother me. I, as soon as I was like, I have my hair up and stuff. I here, let me show you. I put my hair up, right? Quick style, which I normally do, right? I'd have it up. And I would see, like on the ends here, I would see lint. And I'm like, taking the comb, combing the ends out, separating it while I'm on the bus or while I'm in a car, while I'm somewhere, I'm just like taking the ends and I'm picking it. And even before, like even in class, sometimes I find myself picking it off camera and I'm like, okay, you know what, and you're letting it bother you. So lint would be one. What else? I think that's probably it. I think that's it. I think for me, holding my, having my hair up like this or tying it sometimes might bother me because if I have a slight headache, then the tension headache or whatever the case may be, or caffeine headache, tying it and having it like this would bother me. But I think the lint would be the only con. I can't think of anything else because my mind is set at like just enjoying it and enjoying the process of it and not being meticulous and particular and all that stuff with it. The only thing was the lint. Okay. So I'm going to go right into the pros. Hold on. I'm going to jump right into the pros. Like, again, I think it's a mindset. I think it's like, once you make up your mind about doing a thing, you enjoy that thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I've always wanted my scalp to be out and about and breathing. Cause I've always been a person to braid, weave, wig, wig, color my hair, blonde, wig, weave long, you know, black, blonde. I wanted to just leave my hair alone and have more mind, have, have more space and more time for other things in my life. So I'm just like, okay, I've always wanted to do it. I didn't jump on the trend. I wanted to do it years ago from when my kids were about, I think in public school or high school, like public school, sorry, public school. I was like, okay, when I get a little bit older, I want to do that. Cause I seen sister locks a long, long time ago. And I was like, I definitely want to do that because I just, I love the beauty of it. I love the structure of it. I love 
how natural it looks, how beautiful the women are wearing their own hair like that. I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. So I jumped ahead. Yes, I did. I jumped ahead and I put in extensions because I wanted to. Like for those that are going to question me, I did it because I wanted to. Okay. So anyways, just allowing it to get messy, allowing my roots to kick in and kink up. If I want it to be nice and crispy and neat, I can retie it. Going to sleep, I go to sleep just like this. When I'm in the shower, I put my hair like this. When I'm out and about, I'm, I just run my fingers through my hair. That's it. Or spray a little bit of water before I leave. Every other day, not as often. I don't even put oil on my scalp anymore. I think that's due to dietary uh, benefits. I don't really need to. Because I found that when I was using some from the hair store, which I, I don't recommend for people. To, like, I know we do it because it's a quick fix. But if you can find your own oils, your essential oils or your natural oils, and mix it and drop it on your scalp, especially for the targeted areas like, you know, soothing, peppermint, healing, tea tree, you know, jojoba acts as a natural sebum. That's another video, right? Because um, I, I forgot to tell you, one of my strengths is hair. One of my strengths as an artist is hair. So hair, brows, nails, blah, blah, blah. And so I hardly put any oil in it. I allow my hair to get messy. I get up and go when it rains, I don't run. <laughs> the only reason why I'd probably run, and if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking outside. It's going to rain, I can tell. When it rains outside and I have my hair out, I'm not running. When the makeup is on, yes, I'm like trying to cover up and stuff. And then I'm like, who cares? The other day I was just like, who cares? If it runs on my face, it runs on my face. But it's freeing for me. It's, 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 it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful for me. This is what I've chosen to do. And this is what I enjoy and love. I do provide the service. And I know I have a video up stating that I, I, I do faux locks and all those other things, which I still do. But the website, like the website, I'm just like having issues doing it myself. I can do a basic one, but I want to upgrade it. But if you need any, just message me here or message me on Instagram. Okay. So anyhow, yeah, this is freeing for, this is freeing for me. This is more of who I am right now. Like this is just, I just love it. I love everything about it. I love how it flows. I love how it makes me look. And another thing, if you've seen some of my other videos, I started to declutter because I'm just like, as an artist, you can image the hair and the whole ensemble, the whole outfit, the whole accessories. You can, you can create certain things on people and yourself and your first canvas is yourself. And my first canvas is myself. So going through my stuff, I'm just like, I'm not going to wear this again. I'm not going to go through, I'm not going to, you know, this is just not for me in my season. And, you know, just going through things because I know as time goes and changes, I'm changing. Right. So I'm just like, okay. So thank you so much. If you've seen my 30 day challenge of outfits that I found in my closet, I tried on and I know I'm floating off topic, but it's all in conjunction with what's going on with, you know, the eight month mark and going forward. Thank you so much for joining in on that. Even with the video I posted with the shorts, I, I hardly wear shorts like that outside. I don't wear shorts because of my bum is so big, but it's just like part of accepting myself is like, this is what it is. And that's why you see my hands going like this underneath my butt because the shorts actually cover the butt and I can walk and it's covering the butt. You know what I'm saying? I'm like so grateful for that. And so most of the stuff that I had tried on, I've kept, but some of it, and as I go through more of my stuff, which I'm almost finished, that means to me another season, another level. I'm going to be 50 next year. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot for me. That made me think of so many things in terms of relational, financial, you know, even with my peace. I'm just like, it's so important. Like, really, don't, don't take it for granted. Eh? Don't take those little things for granted. It helps. It helps. Back onto the, the locks. Back onto the micro um, braiding locks. I've had a few questions of, or even requests of me posting how I added the extension. Um, when I'm with someone that's get that, that I'm retying, I could film that for now, but when I start a new one, then I could probably do that. I re respect their confidentiality, their space, because like doing hair is more of a, a conversation. It's more of like, us having our intimate moments, more of their downtime just to be to themselves because it does take some time. Do you know what I'm saying? So I do not want to impede in that. I don't want to disrespect them. I don't, you know what I'm saying? 
and I could do it on myself, but I'm not going to release one of these just for you. I'm sorry. I love Uno, but I'm not doing it. Sorry. It's all in place for a reason. Even when I color it or wash and stuff like that, I might have the ones and twos coming out, but my lock from my, my, my scalp area growing out to the extension, it's tied. I'm not going to untie it unless I had to start one over, then I can film that. Okay. So please be patient with me. The video will come out soon. Okay. Another pro. Oh, you know what? You can color it. You can color it. You can flexi rod it. You can braid pattern, like braid it up and get a nice pattern. Those are the things I like playing with, but not as often. I just like that free, the freeness, like just get up and go. I like how my ends have not locked up. And, and I found that even with the Afro kinky human hair that I used, it was more of a coily effect when I first got it. And now a sort of loosening its curl. So that's part of it. Um, but when I get to a point to where my own hair has gotten some length that I'm going to be cutting this off, I'm not going to be keeping this, this length and all this stuff was to skip a certain process so that I could just put it up, put it back, play with it and just allow it. I don't think I would do that if it was short. I would not have done that if it was short. If it was short, oh my gosh, I would have combed it out, did something else, flew back on the wig, but I'm loving it so far. I'm loving, loving it so far. I have no, no regrets. I've had people stop me in stores on the street asking me, oh, I love your hair. How did you do that? Like, and I'm free enough to tell them, like, I'm not what's it called? Gatekeeping? That's what you guys are saying? Gatekeeping? I would not do that. I believe that everyone should learn or know how to do a thing and do it for themselves. Like why keep something for yourself? If someone else does it, it's not going to look the same, but giving somebody that added help, advice for them to do it makes it so much easier. Oh yeah. Another, another pro. Even though I have suppliers, even though I have access and even though I have my license and even though I, I get my discounted prices, I don't have to spend so much money on myself in terms of hair. I don't have to spend a lot of money on products. I'm saving money. I'm saving money, <laughs> even with going through my closet and, 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 and doing the thrifting thing. I'm saving money. I'm not doing out of, I'm not doing it out of scarcity. I'm doing it out of wisdom. When we all pass and go, we cannot take these things with us. Yes. We want to enjoy our life. Yes. We want this and that. And yes, you know, there's going to be a time for that, but wisdom in all things, wisdom in all things. And I believe I was being wise in loxing my hair. Bam. I think I'm done. We're celebrating the eight months. Yeah. Sorry. I did my nails the other day. I just put on some acrylic, went to the nail store. You can see them in my vlog my latest vlog. It should be out Sunday, this Sunday. And I'm enjoying the vlogs, but it's sort of stressful in a sense because I'm so used to just being free and filming certain things, but people are sensitive and I have to be mindful of that. But I love doing it. And um, the next one will be us going out and me just showing you that it's okay to date yourself. It's okay to go to a restaurant on your own. I do it with God because, you know, he's with me. I invite him in everything that I'm doing. But I want to at least show you that it's okay in loving yourself. Even when you went through so much crap in your life, that taking that time out for yourself and enjoying those things is going to help rebuild your confidence. It's going to help rebuild who you are and repair who you are. Also with therapy and all those other things that you may need going along the way. And this is like, you know, a different section of the video. I know you're here for the micro locks, but I just wanted to share my heart with you. It will help you to love yourself more and to heal and to be present. You know what I'm saying? And enjoy your life despite what happened to you. Do you know what I'm saying? So that would be the next vlog. And then let me know how you, you're liking the other vlogs. I know it's just like random, whatever the case may be, but I'm just like, I don't mind you sharing a piece of my world. I don't mind it, you know, because some people ask, and how, how come you're so happy? How come, you know, after all you've been through, you're still standing? It's, it's because of the grace of God. It's because of Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. This is for me. It worked for me. I'm only sharing it with you because you know what? Your choices may be different from mine, but you asked me the question, right? And you're seeing it. Yes, I'm human. Yes, I have my days. Yes, I fall short. Yes, I make mistakes. Yes, I, you know, I, I believe I can be better. Yes, I doubt God at times. Yes, I, you know, and it, the thing is, it's all about having a relationship with him. 
even through the human errors, even through all of that, even through something taking that was taken from us, he still loves us and he still provides for us and he's still covering us and he still loves us. He's still healing us. He's still there. And so I guess that's part of what this channel is about. Right? Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Yes, this is the eight, eighth month locked and I don't think it's going to change anytime soon. I see you in the next video.